Look, I'm taping my shadow as I walk to the monument. Okay, coming up here on the monument. There's also some some, some gravestones up here, and uh, we have to go up there too. Jackson Trace. This stone marks the terminus of the route traced through the wilderness by Jackson's army during the Horseshoe Bend campaign, erected and dedicated by U.S. Daughters of 1812, July 4th, 1914. Okay. I'm out of breath, but I made it. Whew. These guys was in shape. Gun heel. Bear with me. <sighs> Here at 1030 in the morning of March 27th, 1814, General Jackson quickly emplaced his single battery, one three-pounder and one six-pounder. He immediately opened a lively but ineffective fire on the center of the sturdy log barricade. After his Indian allies entered the peninsula stronghold from the rear, he ordered a frontal assault on the stubborn wall. Here's a cannon from that day. Here on the Horseshoe Battleground, General Andrew Jackson and his brave men broke the power of the Creek Indians under Chief Minowa. March 29, 1814, erected by the Congress of the United States. So some of this is the beautiful drive around Horseshoe Bend. Let's take that down a little bit. Here we go. Another place to stop off. Let's see what this is all about. Tohapika in flames. In this meadow, 350 women and children sheltered in the village of Tohapika, I said it right the first time, listen to the sounds of battle drifting back from, barricade, from the barricade a thousand yards away. Alarmed, they watched as the enemy Cherokee and Lower Creek warriors crossed the river cutting off all hope for escape. In minutes, Tohapika, their only refuge, was in flames. So this would have been this here and the river. On the morning of the battle, Major General Andrew Jackson's Indian allies surrounded the lower portion of Horseshoe Bend. The Cherokee were positioned across the river from where you stand. The Lower Creek were farther upriver to your left. Hearing distant cannon fire, Cherokee and Lower Creek warriors swam across the river, stole red stick canoes from this bank, and took them back to the other side. Hundreds of Indians, adorned with deer tails, then canoed across, a few at a time, to attack the village of Tohapika behind you. Jackson's Allies Prior to Horseshoe Bend, Jackson ordered his Cherokee and Lower Creek allies to wear white deer tails in their hair or headdress to distinguish them from the Red Sticks. Although the Upper Creek and the Lower Creek were both part of the Creek Confederation of Towns, the Lower Creek lived closer to and had developed stronger relationships with Americans in Georgia. Many of the Lower Creek and Cherokee supported the United States in fighting against the Red Sticks. They joined Jackson's army hoping to secure rights to tribal lands and to gain financial support. And this would be the Allies. With the deer tails in their hair. 
futile escape. I ordered Lieutenant Jesse Bean to take possession of the island below with 40 men to prevent the enemies taking refuge there, as many of the enemy did attempt their escape, but not one were landed. They were sunk by Lieutenant Bean's command ere they reached the bank. General John Coffey, Tennessee Militia. Major General Andrew Jackson sent General John Coffey and 1,300 men to surround Horseshoe Bend here on the banks of the Tallapoosa River. Jackson hoped Coffey's 700 Tennessee Mounted Riflemen and 600 Cherokee and Lower Creek Warriors could close up all avenues of, of escape for the Red Sticks. And here we are. And this is why they call it Horseshoe Bend. And here's the beautiful river. Tallapoosa River. This would be the island that we're talking about. Look how beautiful it is here. Okay. Mom's ready to go. We have made it to the actual battlefield. If you can see those sticks out there. That's the line between the two enemies of each other. The generals, Andrew Jackson and Coffee, and the Cherokee and the Creeks, or the Red Sticks. Last time I was here, I was about 10 years old. I've always wanted to come back and now I'm 46 so when I was 10 I didn't really know where we were I was just with my mother and her best friend who were both teachers and my mom was a history teacher so they came here and they brought us but um, as I went through college especially with a Jacksonian America class I really learned a lot about Andrew Jackson so my mom even uh, wrote her, uh, not dissertation, but um, the one where you get your master's degree, I can't think of it, um, about Andrew Jackson and the uh, battle, um, not of New Orleans, but the Battle of the Creeks, which involved Horseshoe Bend. So, there it is. Right behind me. Just check this out, real quick. You have to imagine, this is blood-soaked land we're standing on. A lot of history, a lot of death, a lot of war.